Hey guys. I'm back on the official Windows 11. But if there's one thing that I really miss about the other version is the custom themes and icons. So, with this video, I've decided to bring that look back. If you also want a fresh and cool look for your Windows 11 or Windows 10, then please watch the video till the end to be sure you don't miss any of the steps. But first, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon, so you won't miss any of my future videos. First thing you need to download, is UX Theme Patcher, from uxthemepatcher.com. This software, will enable theme customization in Windows, and it will allow you to add any theme you want. Next, from deviantart.com, you will download the BIB3 custom theme pack by Niivu. And also from Niivu, you can download the Sweet Paranoia icon pack. Both of them are free, but you do need to log in on DeviantArt in order to download. To add the icon pack successfully on your Windows 11, you'll need to download 7TSP, also from DeviantArt. Here, as a warning, we see that 7TSP is not compatible with Insider Preview builds. So try installing only if you are on official Windows. To extract UX Theme Patcher installer, you'll have to enter a password. This password you can find on the download page. When the installation is complete, restart your device. Now, extract the BIB3 theme pack, and go to the Windows 10 plus 11 folder. Here, select the Dark Mode folder. As you can see, there is also a folder called Pure Dark, but is marked as buggy and may cause crashes. You could add the Pure Dark themes if you want, but you do it at your own risk. Personally, at the moment of making this video, I've been using Dark Mode since some days and I never had a problem with it. But I did not add the Pure Dark themes. Copy all the files from the folder, and go to your C drive. Here, open the Windows folder, search for Resources, and then Themes. Paste everything here, and that's it. You can check out the themes at Personalization. Next, extract the icon pack and the 7TSP from the archive. Open the 7TSP folder, and rename the EE extension to EXE. Same way, go to the icon pack folder, open 7TSP from within, rename, and remove where it says remove. Now go back to the 7TSP folder and install the software. When installed, click on Add a Custom Pack, and select the 7Z Archive from the Icon Pack folder. Once again, you have to reboot your system for the changes to happen. As you can see, after reboot, the system icons are all replaced with the sweet paranoia icons. It can happen that some folders may still have the old icons, but you can fix that manually. Just right-click on the folder, go to Properties, Customize, and click on Change icon. Here, select the traditional yellow folder icon and click Apply. When it comes to wallpaper, I like to have something dynamic, and lively wallpaper is the best choice. Not only for the option of having videos as wallpapers, but also for the option of having a clear taskbar if you wish. I did made a new video to have it as a live wallpaper, but with the new icons and theme, the orange fiery look of the video just doesn't fit. I don't want to change it though, or make a new one. So I added a little purple in the mix and the result is much better. 
There is one thing that bothers me though. The taskbar. I did try the Winstep Nexus dock, but I didn't really like it that much. So I decided, once again, to replace the taskbar icons manually. Now, keep in mind that the icon pack has about 400 icons. So the chances not to find the right icon for your app are pretty high. Because I don't like to have mixed icons on my taskbar, I replaced those that had no match with the closest similar icon. Take Predator Sense for example. There is no matching icon, so I've used the icon from CMake. CMake is a software that I would probably never use, the icon looks nice, so that's that. Predator Sense has a new face. At least on my laptop. Now, another thing that doesn't match, for me anyway, is the clear taskbar, the bright icons and the brightness of the wallpaper. In this combination is hard to distinguish the icons. But luckily, there is a solution for that. Rounded taskbar is a tool that gets better with every update. And the current version, 3.1, is pretty stable. You can download rounded taskbar from Microsoft Store. Once the download is complete, open Rounded Taskbar and click on Advanced. Here you can choose whichever options you want, and also adjust the corner radius and margin of your taskbar. My personal favorite is Show System Tray on Hover. The system tray will be invisible all the time, except when the cursor is over it. The last thing that I tried, was System Transparency. With this tool you can modify the transparency for File Explorer. It's a nice tool to have, but for whatever reason, it did not start up with Windows, no matter what I've tried. And because I didn't want to set the transparency every time I boot my device, I just ditched the whole idea. Who knows, maybe a better tool will come out in the future. Or if you guys know something better, please let me know in the comments section.